What happens with a non-functional prototype? What is the process like? What should you expect? What is the end result of it? Let's just go for the process. A non-functional prototype goes through the same exact design process that any app that we build goes through. For starters, wireframes. This is where you go and design every single screen and functionality to a T. Eventually, it will be a fully polished product. So you're treating this day one the same way you if you're just going right into programming. So you spend time carefully laying out every screen, every functionality, every flow from start to finish to make sure users would actually want to use it. That the logic is there. That it's going to go through programming and actually work. And what happens with companies like us, we're already planning out the scalability later on when you eventually invest into programming to make your app fully function. This way we can ensure it will be economical even if you're not investing in it right now. Then, high fidelity. High fidelity is just a more technical term for mockups. It's the pixel for pixel representation of what the product will look like. The content's going to look like what the real content on the product would eventually be. Real looking fake content. This isn't content that's edible, you can't actually play around with it, but this way you can showcase the true illusion of how the app would behave, how it would work, and how it would function in a real life environment. Lastly is the product flows. This is where you go and define all the little details and logic that will be needed in programming later on that can't be accounted for until it's in programming. For example, how many of you have used Apple's iMessage before? How many of you have used Facebook Messenger before? How about WhatsApp Messenger, Skype? They all show a red circle with the amount of unread messages. You can put this in a design, right? Put the number six in a red circle, all of a sudden that means you have six unread messages. Or does it? Some of these platforms will recognize individual message threads as an unread message. Some of them will look at individual messages in a message thread. So six could mean completely different things depending on the context of what platform you're using. This is something a good design, no matter what, can't define. This is where a product flow comes into play. And the reason why it's important, even with a non-functional prototype, is eventually you will get this program. That's the goal. You want to get this coded. You want to turn it into a functioning product. These details will matter because it's going to save away the room of misinterpretation, disorganization, confusion, and all the nightmare scenarios that often happen in programming that can lead to a demise of a great app. So you go for all this. Instead of now finishing up and going into coding how a normal app would behave, instead use a tool called Envision, or at least this is our preferred method of choice, where we create the illusion of it actually functioning. How it works is we create hotspots on the device. So let's say it was an iPhone app, you'll be able to click around in certain areas, they'll actually take you through the app in the flow that we designed during design, it would go. So if your logic was, I was gonna log in and it takes you right to your user dashboard, that's how the app would behave even in a non-functional prototype state. Now you can walk through the entire app functioning from start to finish, basically as an illusion. And again, remember, we populated this with fake looking real content, showcasing it. And you can scroll, you can move around. Don't forget that these are the designs that you have, that you're able to use to go into programming. And if maybe you get feedback, you can go back in and make adjustments through design, which is significantly more affordable than it is making edits through programming, where it can cause weeks, if not months of work. So all this comes into play where it really mitigates your risk. It makes a well thought out, pragmatic approach so not only do you have the highest quality product possible, not only are you put in a position where you can demonstrate this on any device, you also are in a great right position for you to mitigate your risk later on when you do go into programming and you finish your app and you bring it to a fully functioning environment on the App Store, on the web, or wherever you determine you want it to go.